Well, looky here. Would you trust somebody who's got an email address that is, and I quote, E-J-O shaves with a fork at insert domain. Somebody who rocks that email address would probably send me an email that reads like this. Hey, Jim. After that game last night, the AFC West playoff picture is looking very strange. Yours? Norv Turner's neck. Matt and the Fred. War the return of the personal appearance as show fodder segment. Now, Matt and the Fred is the king of personal appearance smack. That's where he lives. That's who he is. That's what he does. He showed up in appearance once in Denver with a Mount Rushmore tee. He had Sarah Jessica on the tee. Mark Mangino. Ejo. This guy's the king. He's also a JRIP contributor. And he's saying, War the return of the personal appearance as show fodder segment. Now, I'll tell you what I'll do, EJO. I'll think about this. I'll think about bringing it back. I'll think about bringing it back post 11-11-11. Just to give you a taste. In honor of 11-11-11, I might take one part of one segment and let you say what you want and do what you want. Not an entire segment. Post 11-11-11. Good news, bad news. And I'm talking to all of you, not just Matt and the Fred. Hey, Matt, lock and load. Lock and load, Matt. 11, 11, 11. Good news, bad news. Good news is that's a floating break. I can take that as far as I want. 11, 11, 11. I could take that all the way down to 11, 22, 11. Bad news. 11, 11, 11 means I usually get out at a quarter past. I could get out at 12 if I want to. It floats. It's not a hard out. 11, 11, 11 means I can be out at 11, 12, 0, 0. Or I can carry it all the way down to 11, 11, 22. I'll see how it feels. And by the way, I'm not even going to guarantee it. I'm not even going to guarantee it. I'm not saying I'll do it. But what I am saying is, for the first time since the last time, personal appearance may be show fodder post 11, 11, 11. Get yourselves together, you call me. After that segment, or once we get to, once the clock turns over, 11, 11, 11, call me. I might do it. I might let you in. 11, 11, 11. We are now less than 11 minutes out until 11, 11, 11 on 11, 11, 11. And I'm not sure how long it will last. It could be one call. It could be five calls. It could be one minute. It could be 10 minutes. Hey, Rome. Take me down to the Paradise City where the ham is lean and they cook a ton of chili. Oh, won't you please take me home? Yours, A. Rose. Ugly Bob is back. War me being unblocked for one email on 11-11-11 for old time's sake and wore at least one segment a week where the truly dedicated clones like myself can talk personal appearance smack. Ugly Bob in 96 South Carolina. All right, we're not doing this once a week, but I will do this for a part of one segment. But you're getting started too early. 1-800-636-8686. Write that number down. Get ready to use it in eight minutes. I will do this for maybe a minute, maybe 10 minutes, and maybe not at all. The number of the month is the same as the number of the day and the year. 11, 11, 11. I mean, what is this, black magic? Hell, I can remember back in January when you clones were all geeked up when it was 1, 11, 11. Now I'm stoked. Man, it feels like New Year's Eve. I feel like the ball is going to drop. I feel like we're counting this thing down. December 31st is so played, so tired. Humanity has been celebrating that night for like 2,000 years. No way 1231, no way the best 1231 ever is anywhere near as cool as 1111. Even 111 isn't 1111. 
That's what I'm going to do. I'm less than five minutes away. I'm treating this one like New Year's Eve. And for a lot of you clones, it is New Year's Eve. Because post 11, 11, 11, you get to go with personal appearance smack. And I'm looking at the call screen right now. I had no idea how badly you people, you people wanted this. Let me tell you something. If you could see what I'm looking at at the board right now, you'd turn this show off, which is why I don't do it. We're getting there. I'm just going to treat this thing like New Year's Eve. And I know for those of you who want that personal appearance smack, it is New Year's Eve. It's Christmas, New Year's Eve, your birthday, your wedding day, the birth of your kids all rolled into one. We're under four minutes. Go ahead and try and tell me that I'm way too easily amused. And that 11, 11, 11 is interesting if you're 11 years old. Go ahead and try to tell me that I'm an adult with a job and a life. And if I'm actually planning on what I'm going to do for that one magical second today, that I'm a loser. Tell me that. Go ahead. Because in less than four minutes, we're going to party at 11, 11, 11. I've got noisemakers. I've got some booze. I've got a bottle of sparkling cider for little Albie. Got a pair of hilarious novelty 1111 sunglasses. We're under three minutes to go. Jay Stu's been inhaling the honey banked ham that I bought for him. We're almost there. Rome. 111111 was kind of disappointing. I mean, it didn't last very long. Disappointingly yours, that skank that the Beebs knocked up. Dale in Memphis. Needless to say, we are getting close to 11, 11, 11 because weird things are happening. I just read that email. We are under a minute. If you're on hold, get ready. Once I get to 11, 11, 11 on 11, 11, 11, I'm going to go right to the phones and open it up to whatever it is you want to talk about, but only for that segment. And there's no telling how long that segment's going to last. Man, I'm nervous. I'm under 30 seconds. I have been waiting for this moment for so long. Alvy, you got something like a drum roll? Count me down, Alvy. Get me there. 11, 10, 11, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 11, 11, 11. Ah, oh, hell yeah. We did it. Let's go to the phones. Everything is fair game. Do what you want, but remain responsible. We go to Brian in Green Bay. Brian, good to have you on the show. How are you? Good, Jim. Uh, First time, long time. Thank you. Uh, I had a question. What do uh, Steven Seagal, Val Kilmer, and Chris Alley all have in common? I have no idea. They're all fat. Rack, Rack him. He's right. They are all fat. 1-800-636-8686. Open phones. Anything is fair game. Talk about whatever you want. I have no idea how long it's going to last. We go to Mike in Toledo. Great to have you on the show. Mike, how are you? Well, we got a haiku for you. What do you got? Miss Kelly Clarkson. Now I'll weigh by 60 pounds. Bam, bam, Bigelow. Tremendous. A Kelly Clarkson is fat haiku. Fat? Way fatter than Bam Bam. Back to the phones. Let's go to Akron, Ohio. Woodrow. My man, Woodrow. What's cracking? Hey, Romy. Thanks for the vine. Thanks for the opportunity. Yep. I want to wish a happy Veterans Day to all the veterans. And something I've been wanting to do ever since the Rat family went away and I saw him, I want to put Jim Trussell in the Rat family. He's in. Jim Dressel, rat. The rat family, hilarious. Human beings that look like rats. I bet he's not the only one. I bet there's a lot of guys that look like rats. Rat-like features in their face. Guys like, I don't know, Zane Smith. Corey Pavin. Mike Shanahan. You know, the rat family. Monica Selish. Clones, enjoy your fun. It's going to end pretty soon. Fort Myers. Ray. Great to have you on the show. Ray, how are you? Good, Rome. What's up, man? What's up? How you feeling? Hey, how, can you ever, sorry, how can you ever talk about uh, Pete Carroll looking like the coach of the women's soccer team? You know, it's women's soccer team. You put a split shot of them, and they're identical. Hey, yeah, you know, you got a point. Why do I never talk about Pete Carroll looking like her? First of all, rack the take, Alvy. Rack the take. 
Why do I never do it? Well, one reason. Personal appearances are not show fodder. Hope you're enjoying yourself. But there is a striking similarity. The two of them do look exactly alike. Separated at birth. Are you having fun? Should I end this thing right now? The dumbest one second of any year has been parlayed into the dumbest segment ever. Should I end it right now or should I take one more call? I think I'll go back to the phones. Why don't we try Columbus, Ohio? Dean in Columbus. Great to have you, Dean. How are you? Hey, Remy Rem, what's up, man? What's happy up? Friday to you. Uh, as happy as uh, Bombay. But I, I have one thing to say, man. You always say you keep your lettuce tight, but now it's all pimped out and froed out. Uh, you said you got a new hairdresser. Uh, people in Columbus is wondering if you're getting on the uh, hippie lettuce and stuff. Yeah, no, that's not what it is. But you're right. For a long time, I kept my lettuce tight. I'm growing it out right now. I'm growing it out right now. Why am I doing that? Because I can. Why does anybody do anything? And number two, the more important reason, the wife likes it, man. Happy wife, happy life. I'm growing the lettuce out. There you go, man. Everything's fair game. I said it. Personal appearance smack, and he had to take on my personal appearance. My lettuce is no longer tight. I'm growing it out. 1-800-636-8686. Why don't we go to Houston and see what's going on? Wayne in H-Town. Great to have you, Wayne. How are you? I'm drunk. Jimmy, I'm at work, I'm drunk, I'm throwing confetti, and I'm drinking with the fat chick in the nice cubicle who coincidentally has a size 11 shoe. My man, you do sound drunk. You're at work, you're drunk, and you're drinking with, quote, the fat chick in the next cubicle. Fat? Who wears a size 11 shoe. She's fat, she's got big feet. Let's keep this party going. 11, 11, 11. I had no idea, no idea it could be so fun. Personal appearance smack. What a horrible segment. How irresponsible. Hope you're enjoying it. It's got about one minute left. Let's go to Encinitas. Ed in Encinitas. Ed, how are you? Um, doggy dog. I just want to say Andrew Bynum looks like Gary Coleman if he got his wish. Can you see him trying to break the huddle saying, what you talking about? Bloop. There you go. Gary Coleman, if he got his wish, I don't really see it. I don't really see it. Andrew Bynum, face smack. Last one on the board. Let's do it and get the hell out of here. Ben in Cleveland. What's up, Ben? Hey, Romy. I just wanted to wish you a, a very, very happy 11-11-11. And I wanted to bring up the fact that Romeo Cornell looks kind of like that monster on Candyland. Uh, that sits in the middle of the board and eats your pieces. And I'm sure he has giant chocolate uh, Hershey Kiss nipples. I'm out. And that'll be the end of that. We will end on that note. One call too many. About ten calls too many. A segment that should have never happened. And now you know why we don't do that on this show. I think I've made my point. Matt and the Fred... I humored you, I humored all of you who like that sort of thing, who think that sort of thing is funny. It's sophomoric, it's delinquent, it's embarrassing, it's uninspired, it's not funny, it's just plain stupid. You've had your fun. 11-11-11, the most overrated, overhyped, overblown second ever. Not what I thought it would be. I had really high expectations. It sucked. Next time that happens, we'll be in about 100 years. And I'll be dead and I'll be glad. All right. You've had your fun, clones. Let's get back to work. Man, you think the calls were bad? You should see the emails. (laughs) And the calls were terrible. You're listening to The Jim Rome Show. Hey, Rome. Worst segment ever? If by worst segment ever you mean best segment ever, then you're right, Rome. And I meant worst. I didn't mean best. I meant worst. It's even worse than I thought it was going to be. I knew it would be bad. I knew it would be bad. It was much worse than I thought it would be. It was terrible. A Kelly Clarkson haiku. That's all you have. What do these three guys have in common? They're all fat. That's all you had. 
a Kelly Clarkson haiku. Jim Trestle looks like a rat. And hey, Rome, your hair is, your lettuce isn't tight anymore. <laughs> Dear Pimp in a Box, that was gold. <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing for five minutes straight. I had people walking into my office to see what was going on. Thanks for the laughs and forgetting about PSU for five minutes. Ross in Louisville. Really? You thought that was funny? You laughed for five minutes. That actually took your mind off the worst story ever. That. Yeah, I don't know. That's where you and I are different. I thought that was the worst segment ever. I didn't laugh. I didn't laugh for five seconds. Coincidentally, has a size 11 shoe. I just don't know why you all thought that was funny. That was not funny. Certainly not responsible on my part and definitely not funny. I know funny. I'm funny. I'm a funny guy. I know funny when I see funny. That was not funny. Because calling people fat is never funny. Saying people look like rats is not funny. Thankfully, it's done. 